This looks like an explosion right now. But trust me, this was working, and actually this was working splendidly. About the Everflow water, it's working wonderfully. Leaned like this. Welcome to the vlog, my friends. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I love and appreciate you. I'm gonna make it worth your while because we're doing something revolutionary? Like with backyard chicken keeping? Anyway, this is an Everflow waterer. Gravity fed. The idea is that it's always clean, never frozen. Jonah. Jonah, I'm leaving. In today's episode, we're actually gonna modify to make this better and hopefully test it today. I really think it's gonna make a difference. We're gonna find out by the end of the show, did it or did it not? Did I succeed or did I not? I'm at rush this morning. Well, am I ever not rushed? Well, the reason I'm rushed this morning is I've got 33 minutes till I need to come back in and help beauty off she's gonna go see a therapist today that's a critical part of in our overall healing plan especially with somebody with chronic illness the problem with it being on a tilt like that is one it's ugly good morning you've been out and about i can tell your feet are wet another problem is that it would i would have to build a more specialized stand for it and i think it would be more vulnerable up like this to pigs and chickens Good morning, Laurel. Good morning. All right, let's do these chores, wrap it away. The third problem is I think I would have to get it just right, just the right slant. And maybe I could do that, but that would be hard to teach others this system. I want something flat. But one of you guys actually sent us a Facebook message with an idea. The concept went like this. Get me an elbow, please. Why don't you have your Everflow waterer, have an elbow on here that turns the water down and then out to our connection system. Well, that was not hard. Instead of ending there at your trough, why don't you run an elbow down and out and have your connection down there? Yeah. the ice is up there let's do that in one second but yesterday's vlog remember that okay car 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 there's a car coming all right there is a car coming we didn't want them to hit our wire and the cows are in the lane putting these cows back in make, doing the three things to make sure this fence is hot and other times, something will be touching this line. Tree lamb, grass, that will all serve to ground it out, making it weaker. Well, did it work? Bingo! You happy, Step Muffin? Right where you're supposed to be? Yes! It worked. And if you want to see my tips on keeping a fence hot, hot enough, keep in a 1,200 pound bull, go check it out, yesterday's video. just the tease of the video. Okay, let's do these ices. Boom! Two minutes. Two minutes to spare. That's enough to get us back down. I'm winning this morning, Mom. Wow, it looks amazing. We'll see you later. Love you. Oh, another kiss. The one thing I have to wonder is one, is the water gonna be moving fast enough in here? I think yes, it's gonna keep moving. This will fill up, adding even more pressure to the bottom line. And I don't think, this is on a stand, I think that's short enough for the chickens and the pigs. Now we just have to make this connection.
got it and we're so close to hooking this up, but I don't really want to test it right here. I could test it right here, but it's sort of on a slope already. I want to test it down here more likely where it's going to be, where it's going to be more in a flat area. The problem is there's our line. It ends right there. That worked okay when it was going to be in there, but that's why on the end of every one of these hundred foot hoses, I have a quick connect. So I can make this connection wherever I need to be. I want it to connect down there. So I have to finish putting this hose together so I can add one in here. Let's get this line, the end of that line down to there. Hold on, hold on, keep going. Okay, now bring that in back up here, please. That's tight enough, that's tight enough. Bring it back. This coiling trick is not working. So I'll pull it out one more time. Now I'm just gonna roll it up like this. Until I'm where I need it. All right, get me my line. Let go, release. Okay, that's ready to go. Now we're ready to test this thing. Let's take this and fill it up. I'm gonna open it here. It's still shut off. Should be getting water from the pond. And then we let it fill up. Let water come through. I hear it. You hear it, Mr. Brown? It's gonna come through any moment. And we're gonna fill this up. When it starts filling up and overflowing here, then we open these ends. Any minute, Mr. Brown. Not yet, hold on. Here it comes. Woo! That's gonna be full of water. It's gonna be a lot of pressure on that down. Okay, you can undo it now. It's definitely slowed down here. It's definitely not overflowing as much as it was. Let's slow it down a little bit, let it catch up. See it draining? It's draining good. That's good. Yeah, now get something to hold this up. This is throwing us, there you go, see? When I hold this line up, it's not so bad. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, you, you can hold it. Out of here. Just get us a, a, a board of some sort. Yeah, Papa, we're just still um, going out. Okay, let's let it catch up. All right, I think we've got it. I'm not it's right. filled up to this level right here. That would be that would be completely full of water. Hopefully, splashing around pretty good. Oh look, it's calmed down. We can uh, we have this propped up so the water's shooting down into it. I'm gonna see if I can't get this full speed. Big go that way. Big success. Full throttle. Full throttle. Nothing hanging up. Yes. And it's full throttle. I believe there's no way this is gonna freeze. Water is running fully through this three quarter inch pipe, above the, above the source, below the source, through the source. It's gonna take some freeze to freeze this. There it is. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that for a day or so to test it. Mom, guess what? What? The Everflow waterer is jamming. Oh good. Supposed to freeze tonight? Probably. It's gonna be cold. Okay, we'll test it tonight. Hopefully, we'll build a stand. When? Tomorrow? You wanna legitify that stand and get it in with the pigs? Chickens? Are you tired of changing their water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, looky here. Yes, we have a bubble in our house, so excuse the background noise. That is mold re. re well, it, we had a leak in the ceiling and we didn't know what was in the ceiling. So we called the a mold remediation company. Remediation. In case that there was an issue. Um, and so this is that containment yep. situation because they it didn't know what they were going to find. So yep. they found a. Yeah. Our roof, our wood did have some significant water damage. The, the wood. I don't know what it's called. Trimming. The plywood that sits underneath this, the, the roof was pretty rotten, so we're now getting the roofer out to come and fix that. And then they can come back and finish cleaning out everything and making sure that everything is remediated properly. So, yeah. Mom. Yes. We're all wanting to know how the therapy go this morning. It went great always makes me always feel better. Do you have any tips for us? My biggest tip is to not allow thoughts to grow that are not 
true. So mm. one of the things that I've been struggling with is like the unknown. And so I'm just not focusing on it and I'm not meditating on it at all. And I'm not thinking about it. And I'm just taking my thoughts captive and um, filing them in the correct order. Are you good at that? I'm working on it. So it's what do you do when a bad thought comes in your head? So one thing that the therapist was telling I could do was, um, well, I need to call it what it is. Like, is it a true thought? Is it a lie? Is it fear? And then I need to file it in that department and not address it because there's no reason for me to think about things that we don't know. Like, we don't know what the ultrasound is going to say or my blood work is going to come back. So why speculate on something if we don't know? Um, and I did get a phone call from my doctor's office and with results of the ultrasound. With results of the ultrasound and I'm going to talk to the doctor tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. It's going to be a brief phone call. So I'm hoping that that means that everything looked good on the ultrasound. Oh good, I'm glad you did it. And I'm hoping that that means that everything looked good on the ultrasound and that um, maybe she just has some recommendations. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just yeah. living in the present and enjoying right now. Yep. And we will deal with the ultrasound results tomorrow. And I imagine if it was unsatisfactory results, she would have it coming in. So. Um, and I can hear the hopefulness in your voice. <laughs> yeah. So it's even getting, it's even dust. We're um, staying strong. Yeah. You know, the therapist, when I was talking to her, she's talking, you threw it away. You threw the broccoli away. Okay. We'll get you some more. Have a seat. I'll be gone. Uh, the therapist was talking to me today about, you know, how even thyroid, my thyroid can throw these things off, panic attacks and stuff like that. So, you know, we're, we have our health plan, we're working the health plan, if we need to change the health plan tomorrow, we'll change it tomorrow. Um, I'm thankful that we canceled vacation because we would be driving away from the house. I'm just, I'm not ready to travel yet. <laughs> not long term, like, I'm, I'm not ready to travel for two weeks, that's for sure. Um, maybe we'll go to Florida in January for a week. That's it. Go to one place, stay there. Okay. All right. Look what's here. Look what Heather, my lovely assistant, brought me. You wonder how I do so much? This is one of the keys to how yeah. I do so much. Including ship all these DVDs. Thank you very much, Heather. You're welcome. So, she's brought 150 permaculture chickens, and I am signing them. The first 150 orders get a signed copy of permaculture chickens, including those guys who have ordered their physical copy already. When we opened cart yesterday, have you? You haven't shipped them yet. Have you? Okay. No. All right. So she'll ship these. First 150 folks that get in, signed copy. Uh, and I, I guarantee it's probably touched every single one of these chiddler's hands. This is their kind of job. So if you want in on that, I'm gonna leave the link on that in the description.